Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Our today's question on string is Roman number to integer, which states that given a string in Roman number format, your task is to convert it to an integer. Various symbols and the values are given below. So the symbol i represents 1, symbol b represents 5, x as 10, l as 50, c as 100, d as 500, and m as 1000. So let's have a look at the examples. If the string is v, or the symbol is v then the output would be 5 similarly if the symbol is 3 i's then we have the integer value as 3 let's have a look at few more examples as we have already seen that 3 i's represent 3 and i v represents 4 so if we have a small symbol to the left side then we subtract that value from the right symbol and in case if we have the small symbol to the right side then we add the value as in the case of x i i the small symbol which is i is to the right side of the x therefore we add 10 to 2 which is 12. For l v i i i we have the value as 58. In case of x l i x the value of x l is 40 and the value of i x is 9. So the integer value is 49. And finally for m c m x c i v the value of m is 1000 the value of c m is 900 the value of xc is 90 and we have iv as 4. So after adding all this value we get the final integer as 1994. So now let's have a look at the actual approach to solve this particular problem. Let's consider a string which is xlix. The right side of the screen shows the algorithm which is a function roman to decimal and the argument is the string s. We create a hash map which is called as roman where we store the corresponding values of the symbol to the integer values. We also declare few variables namely length which is the length of the string. We declare a variable num as well as we initialize the value of sum as 0. So we start the algorithm by traversing the string from i is equal to 0 to length and at each traversal we check whether if i is equal to length minus 1 or the hash map value of s of i is greater than or equal to the hash map value of s of i plus 1. Since i is not equal to length minus 1, neither 10 is greater than or equal to 50. Therefore, we move on to a else part where we update the value of num as roman of s of i plus 1 minus roman of s of i, which is 50 minus 10, which is 40. And we update the value of i as i plus 2. So now i points to the location 2 or the value i. And we update the value of sum as sum plus num, which is 40. Again we check whether if i is less than length. Since i is less than length, we again check whether if i is equal to length minus 1 or the hash map value of s of i is greater than or equal to the hash map value of s of i plus 1. Since 1 is not greater than or equal to 10, again we are in a else part where we update the value of num as roman of s of i plus 1 minus roman of s of i which is 9 and again we update the value of i as i plus 2. And finally we update the value of sum as sum is equal to sum plus num which is 49. And we check whether if i is less than length. Since i exceeds the value of the length of the string, therefore we end the for loop and we return the value of sum as 49. So now let's have a look at our actual code. The driver code is already given, we just need to complete the function roman to decimal whose arguments are the string s and the return type is int. So as we have seen in the explanation part, we have created a hash map whose key is char and the value is int and we have inserted the symbol and its corresponding integer values into the hash map. Then we have initialized the variable length to the length of the string. We have also initialized some value to 0 and declared a variable called num. We traverse the string from i is equal to 0 to length and at each traversal we check whether if i is the end of the string or the hash map value of s of i is greater than or equal to hash map value of s of i plus 1. That is, in case if the, the small symbol is to the right side, then we update the value of num as roman of s of i and simply increment i. And if this condition fails, then in the else part, we update the value of num as roman of s of i plus 1 minus roman of s of i. That is, we subtract the smaller value or the smaller symbol from the right side and then we update the value of i as i plus 2. Then that, that is we jump two characters from the string. 
and finally we update the value of sum as sum plus num and after the for loop we return the value of sum so we can compile a code now a code is compiled and we can submit it and it got submitted successfully so if you found the video helpful then do hit that like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more such upcoming videos on must do coding questions for interview preparations thank you